was shooting in front of this camera, I mean, first time I shot for a camera like this, I mean, oh. great camera. I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> camera hai na koi awaaz aati hai isse ye kab chal raha hai kab band ho raha hai kuch pata nahi chal raha hai the rest has also been greatly faru but what i think was interesting as a as a collaboration at one level was that for me i was always trying to see that how can i make it more into an emotional experience Correct. more into uh, you know while farooq was at one level so much into the into ideas into a, not that he did not want relationships or emotion but i would say that at one level he was so strong on you know concepts and yeah. the intellectual aspect of yeah. it and i was very keen that how do i bring in that uh, that that heart to yeah. it that spirit yeah. to it and i think um, that's why i asked that also in the script uh, you know in terms of the experience of it but but going back to the the evolution of the script so initially it was i think the the power and the force of the heretics and then there was the development of um, the when i asked farooq that how can i as a protagonist and since i was playing the protagonist which we'll maybe go back to um, can you make me a more active protagonist because i did feel that uh, initially um, I'm listening you're to listening, a lot of things. You're observing and listening. And, and yeah. I'm still, to a large extent, uh, I'm kind of a vessel that's taking everything correct, in. Correct, correct, correct. But uh, I said that as a protagonist in a narrative film, can I like do something? Can I actively do something? Uh, I did want to place myself in more threatening situations or make it more, you know, emotionally charged, etc. But I think I also accept that there is a purpose of what you're trying to do, and therefore. you are constricted in a particular way Correct. that becomes your advantage and that creates the unusual form so so when i asked him to make me active um, he kind of added this love story that's when uh, persis as a character came into play and he beautifully make, made me make a choice you know it's after a, it's a wonderful uh, character his character thing. is wonderful wonderful and i think it's uh, you know kind of takes yeah, the baton from you yeah. and you know takes it forward that, that whole no i i i mean looking at it this way i mean i read a lot of farooq's uh, columns and in his writing he, he it's it's a emotional intellectualism there is a, an intellectualism in his yes. writing yes yes and in this film you have taken that intellectualism and you given it life which was very necessary for the film but i must say that like he the way he uses words it's like the very it's very poetic i mean very i know poetic. i know he also does yes. poetry yes but uh, it's a very poetic combination of thoughts and words and very deep thing very that deep, he kind which of which he I says in a, in a very tuck <laughs> i love poetry and uh, i i saw in your script uh poetry throughout the script which was but yes what you're saying is very very true you have given your character a very human and a very active dimension to it which uh, and and i it. think also that uh, at one level of course there was this and also there was when we were when we were conceiving this character like I, when i even was speaking to farooq recently about it he said that this character is not an ordinary um human being in the sense of it's got a dimension of being um like it's not urvazi irani it's urvazi correct you know so it's it doesn't have a surname it is correct. not necessarily the ordinary correct and i think that's uh, again that was the rootedness of the the, the character and therefore when i was playing it uh, i was experimenting with the little time that i had besides doing all the other roles that i was doing the actor was sabko chai sabko chai milne ke baad then you could think about acting temper. but what i'll give you an instance that when there's the watch scene that i'm playing with zurban with shishir uh, the lines that are there they dictate the character at one level because if i was trying to play it as you know really being fearful in this in this space of you know in the awe of a character which is timeless and i played it with fear it just did not Good match no. to the lines that are being said the lines are something of somebody who's who's above it all you know so there was this challenge for me that how do i play this character right. which is human and personal at the same time is above it all so even in the death scene for example uh, she cannot be like say a normal human being would react she has to have that that i would say somewhere that um, that evolution or that that calmness or that you know being above it all yet not being evolved and therefore that that touch of wisdom or that touch of um, 
spirituality that the grandfather is giving into her and you know passing on to her so i think that yeah, was bro. the challenge and at the same time um, the satisfaction of playing the role and i played the role largely by instinct uh, i think also because it was i think good that i did not get time to prepare and yeah, think about it's the only it. way to do it yes and also because i lived it i think right from being part of the script and uh, you know yeah, I, and i agree with you, and i just it. wanted this is very interesting what you said because it, it brings me to another point which i'm using your film as an example yeah we've gotten into this habit of having these workshops with actors before the mm -hmm. film is shot I don't like them at all and I'm using our film as an example. We did that very intimate, very emotional scene together with almost no rehearsals even. Correct. And it worked beautifully. If we had workshopped that scene and thought about it and analyzed it and I it, it would have become a performance rather than an instinct. Correct. So I'm I'm just not I mean chalo theek a workshop so but this entire film that you've done and i think even with other artists you definitely did not but we don't have time for any workshops but there is something to be said about having faith and in the script and in your fellow artist and your director and just take a leap of faith and i think being in sync like i remember that small conversation that we had i think a few days before the shoot where we had to discuss the scene we didn't do the scene yeah, but, but we discussed, we discussed it. I mean, no you have scene. to discuss i've got yes. nothing wrong discussing and it. and you know the little bit of um i think the conversation that was so beautiful like you asked me that he's dying is he dying of old age mm. or is he dying of a sickness, sickness yeah. you know and when i said old age and not a sickness the dimension changed change, absolutely. and i felt that breath played a very uh, i wanted breath to yeah, play a very yeah, powerful yeah. Uh, role in the in the scene and uh, you brilliantly helped me to kind of uh, at one no, level no i i mean i you know, discussion you obviously you have to discuss yes but if it's if it's structured discussion it is just doesn't it i think anyway, the life of it i this is my personal belief and i know many people if they listen to this will get very upset but i really strongly believe that if you've got a good script you've got artists and a director who are passionate about what they're doing you don't need 15 days to get anything ready you can have 15 hours even 15 minutes if it's clear you see when we did that scene to get back to it yeah a you took us to this very lovely place yes We were lucky to have it. And uh, the whole mood was of the place. If we'd done that in a studio, we would have gotten something. But utna maza na aata. Yes. Then you had a cameraman who was very meticulous <laughs> and hats off to him. It looks brilliant. Everything contributed to that. And you were so patient. I remember you like yeah. went to sleep. Oh, they were so patient. Oh, they were so patient. Oh, they were so patient. Um, and you know kind of relieve the stress but it's it was there's so many circumstances which go into making something beautiful on screen yes and we often neglect those or intentionally in today's day and age when everything is computerized be it editing be it camera work everything can be changed on the computer to any way Correct. i keep on saying that is your last yes thing like like no, for a, a policeman they always tell a policeman your weapon your pistol mm -hmm. is your last option Correct. so all your what you can do in the computer afterwards that's your very last option correct i mean you think of the great great films that were made mm. before the computer was ever even thought of absolutely great films so we have become in a way and again i'm using your film as a chance to say something which is very close to my heart mm. we become too dependent on post production on technology and like you're talking about sound design okay yeah. fine it's it's very important and you again like you brought to see and it's very important उस जमाने में जो फिल्में बनती थी देर वॉज नथिंग कॉल्ड साउंड डिजाइन यू गॉट द साउंड एंड यू यस यू बैलेंस्ड इट इन यू डेड ऑल दीज थिंग्स तो इफ यू नो दैट यू गॉट ऑल दीज वेरी कन्वीनियंट मैकेनिकल प्रॉप्स विद यू देन यू रिलाई ऑन दैट मोर करते वक्त दैट्स व्हाई यस इवन इफ यू आर गोना डब अ फिल्म आई ऑलवेज टेल माय फेलो आर्टिस्ट डोंट कीप इट इन योर माइंड दैट यू आर गोइंग टू डब करेक्ट करेक्ट एब्सोल्युटली आई एग्री विद यू यू गो फॉर इट 100% Because if you think I had chalo dubbing, I'm a tea color. You're not. You're not going to give it. So I mean, again, we're shooting in front of this camera. I mean, first time I shot for a camera like this. I mean, huh. great camera. I think oh, yeah. <laughs> camera hai na koi awaz aati hai. Isse ye kab chal raha hai, kab bandh ho raha hai, kuch pata nahi chal raha hai. So it's it's very important, and I think why your film is so fresh. I know you've gone into great technical details with everything. but your film is not based on anything technical it's based on what's come out of your heart mm. and that is the 
I've just seen two films, I won't take the names of them right now, two very fresh, very unbelievable films, mm. like three films. Mm. And I saw them and I said, wow. Now, one of them is done reasonably well, one of them is not done well at all, and one is yeah. a documentary. But in all three of these films, I saw the same quality I see in, in our film of the director or the writer, the team, mm. is wanting to say something which is very important to them. Mm. And I think that is... I think I've been blessed with a team like that. Absolutely. Very I mean, grateful you, to me. They're like a family and your, they've been so... Uh, your, your team, I remember the shooting there in the, your uh, Parsi club. Sunam Che? Vipin club. Vipin club. Oh, that club itself... Where you were dressed as a Parsi uh, priest. Correct. And I'm sure no Parsi priest has ever gone to that club dressed <laughs> like that. But because we shot in that atmosphere, it was it was it was marvelous it was absolutely marvelous